A lot of the conversation to this point has been about the products. That's the stuff that gets the consumer to buy from the retailer, but then it's that relationship after the fact. It was very obvious that through the building of the tiny home how the delivery, install, and setup processes were all distinctly different. Because of that, you know, we had to come and try to find a solution. Is someone supposed to top a, a prime time where they rolled out a tiny smart home? Uh, that that was the task uh, presented to Derek Madela, who, who you heard there, uh, and and we got to talking to him, you know, ahead, at prime time uh, in Houston, and uh, the you know he he's a someone that you know is is this wasn't his first podcast with me, so um, you know his his first time on the Independent Thinking podcast, sure. Uh, but uh, someone that uh, is fun to talk with and, and kind of get his sense on where he uh, is putting his efforts and, and kind of everything he's got going on. And, you know, for someone that, like I said, had to follow up a prime time in which he rolled out a tiny smart home uh, that was re- that really stole the show in New Orleans, uh, he followed that up in Houston with some really awesome partnerships and, and new programs that uh, rolled out for members and you know, they, they kind of built off of what the tiny home presented and made it sort of a, a reality uh, of sorts for nationwide retailers. Uh, I mean, it, it took everything that was in the smart home and made it accessible to the in-store environment. But uh, also, you know, another partnership that sort of extends beyond the retail experience. And um, what that really boils down to is two programs that, that Derek presented Um and had on the show floor at primetime, one with Gory. Uh, Gory, a uh, retail, um, a brand that helps retailers sort of create these in-store experiences um, that can, you know, take something like the tiny home and make it accessible for an in-store experience. And the other being TechSmart USA, uh, the new service partnership that that really helps uh, our retailers um, connect with customers post-sale, uh, you know, in the, in the world of consumer electronics and in particular the smart home uh, services sort of you know something that that needs to be thought of uh, and really provides a more of an opportunity for the retailer to kind of continue that relationship with the customer after they've been in their store and purchased products so um, really cool programs that uh, you know it's tough for me to say I given my excitement and and personal <laughs> enjoyment in the tiny home uh, you know tough for me to admit that they maybe surpassed it in, in terms of the overall excitement and the opportunity uh, that they present. But I, I think that's kind of, you know, after talking with Derek at, at prime time for this podcast, the sense that I got. So uh, I, I want to obviously share that with you. So not waste any more time and just dive into this podcast with Derek Madela, our VP of the Connected Home Division at Nationwide. <music> All right, we're back on the Independent Thinking Podcast, coming to you from Houston, Texas, at prime time. And uh, right now, one of my favorite interviews, always one of my favorite interviews, yeah, uh, Derek <laughs> Madela, because, you know, the tiny home is a thing that I can always get behind. I'd rather be in it constantly. But, you know, the the VP of, Connect, of Connected Home Division here at Nationwide. And, uh, Derek, I appreciate you taking the time. Stepping away, I know you're only a few paces from the tiny home and, and your spot on the floor here, but yeah. appreciate you coming over and chatting. Yeah, thanks, buddy. It's good, yeah. uh, good to good to sit down, and uh, it's been a lot of cool things going on here oh, in Houston. I, and I know it's been an incredible show. This is one I've been looking forward to. You know, I, I've I've walked around to a couple interviews with you, but to, to now now it's me and you. Man. Yeah, that's right. Now it's me that's and you. Right. Now we get to, to chit chat that's, and talk about what's going on. So. That's right. That's right. <laughs> well, first of all, I, I've been asking everyone, you know, how how has Houston been? How, how's Houston been to you? Oh, it's been great. This yep. is a, uh, the, the city is fantastic, yep. first of all, and it's uh, uh, despite a little bit of the weather for, uh, you know, that sure. made some uh, modifications to the schedule and uh, the presentation and the uh, the um, you know the uh, location of our outdoor uh, outdoor space. Outdoor moves indoor. It, outdoor moves indoor. <laughs> that thing they did a great job, and the convention center has been fantastic. The layout has been good, and uh, I really like the way the, the whole uh, the whole uh, area has set up to help uh, accommodate a show of our size and for sure, uh, and for uh, sure. and all of our members. Yeah, it's been a, been a lot of fun, and um, you know, like I, I say at the top, the the connected home stuff. I mean, my background, you know, I, I come from the CE side and uh, covering it for a while, and. That tiny home is back here at, at prime time. Uh, yeah. lot, seen a lot of traffic going through it. 
Yeah. Um, but there, there's been a lot. You know, it's going to be tough for me not to focus on the tiny home this time. But, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, there is so much more happening in, in the connected home space here uh, for Nationwide at prime time. And um, the one the one I want to start with is, is TechSmart. You know, you, yeah. you guys, we, we've sort of beat around the bush with this uh, in the lead up to prime time. But now that we're here and we can, can fully talk about it, yeah. um, this TechSmart partnership and, and you know, the service side of things. A lot of the conversation to this point has been about the products with, you know, the Google Nest program and, and getting Google Nest involved and some of the other, you know, vendors you see around the show floor, but that's that's the stuff that gets the consumer to buy product from the retailer, but then it's that relationship after the fact. Yeah, so that's right. tell us a little, about, uh, a little bit about this TechSmart partnership and what excites you about it. Yeah, I think it's uh, really one of the missing pieces for the complete uh, connected home experience and the complete connected home environment that we hadn't uh, had a chance to, um, you know, uh, um, you know, uh, present or yeah, show yeah, to, previous, yeah. to previous to yep. previous uh, uh, previous shows, and it's really one of the missing pieces to the entire category. Your point, to your point about uh, the back end support and mm -hmm. creating good customer experiences, it was very obvious that through the building of the tiny home, how the delivery, install, and setup processes right, were all right. distinctly different uh, across a lot of our members' conversations and a lot of the member uh, feedback on why the category was so difficult. Yeah. And as a result, because of that, we had, um, you know, we had to come and try to find a solution. And uh, the good thing is, is that if you do, you, we were able to partner with TechSmart USA. They're a fantastic, they're a great company that um, uh, and does a great job in customer service and tech support. Uh, they do it, uh, have been doing it for a long time and um, they have a, um, a, a great network of, uh, of very uh, good consumer and customer f uh, forward and mm -hmm. customer friendly technicians that can help you with all those challenges on the backside right. uh, after a customer leaves home and uh, inevitably when something breaks uh, they will help you without making you feel like um, you know that you're uh, don't know what you're doing right and, right no. um, and it's really important because I think the the, the continued evolution of the appliance category and the connected home space is yep. only going to put more pressure on the consumers as these things are interacting and talking and transitioning all the way from the router all the way up um, to every device that's in the house. Right, uh, right. There's there's more time for pr challenges. And I always make the joke, I'm, I'm the tech support <laughs> in my house, right? right? I'm Absolutely. My mom, my wife, they, are, they, they love technology. Um, and when they have a challenge, they generally make the first phone call to me uh, to try to see. In fact, I probably uh, yes. think I found my phone ring, and it was probably a tech support call uh, that was uh, that uh, I was trying to get ready to always, answer. Always on call, it never stops. That's right. right. That's right. <laughs> no. But uh, you know, it, it's kind of an interesting you know dynamic there, in that you think about everything for the consumer as they're purchasing these products. It's an exciting category, and um, the technology itself is so innovative and. You're talking about purchasing products that are I intended to simplify life, and don't get me wrong, they absolutely do, but th this is the internet, right? Yeah. That we're talking about, so inevitably there's going to be hiccups along the way. Yeah, that's and, right. Um, you know, the, for the consumer, it's all about a seamless experience, and when it becomes unseamless or, or not so seamless, finding a seamless way to bring it all back together uh, is just as important. So, that's right. Um, because it, it can be frustrating. Yeah. I, I've gotten... I've gotten mad. I've yelled at Alexa. Oh She's yeah. She's not happy with me. Yeah, we exactly. don't have the best relationship yeah. at times. <laughs> um, you know, my, my it's it's it, it just doesn't it, it ruins almost that that experience of what is supposed to be a incredible product. So yeah, to right. be able for members now to have a solution where they can, you know, call up, uh, you know, have something for their customers to kind of continue that relationship and ensure that you know, your consumer, if there is those hiccups, you can make them happy. Yeah, that's right, exactly. And it's, the, and, it, and, and it's always evolving, right? So every new product innovation that comes yep. out, every new great benefit and feature, every new um, example of, uh, of how innovation and technology does something great for our lives, mm -hmm. it adds to that level of uh, possible complexity and the possible challenges that Absolutely. happen. And, and, you know, we have, we're, on the, we're on the eve of, uh, of, a, of a transition. We're on the eve of a, of a, of a very big transition in the U.S. with 5G and yeah. the speeds of internet that, that, uh, and 5G implementation that is going to put yep. the house 
uh, in right. a reconfiguration. It's oh, going yes. to change the connectivity. It's going to change the the reliance on and and make everybody touch their router, yep. touch their password, find their router, and go back and try to connect these devices <laughs> yeah. again. What, what's the what's the number? Um, I know we've we've talked about it. The number of devices per household right now. What do, do yeah. you know? What that sits so at, at about? Pro projecting out over the next couple of years, it'd be over 21 devices per household. That's, so that's incredible. And think about the fact that. You know, the router you have in your home right now, if you want to take advantage of those 5G speeds, which by the end of 2020, I know the, the number is going to increase exponentially across right. the U.S. So routers are going to be swapped out. That's right. Uh, you know, and these are products that have already been purchased that are in the home. That's right. That if you have something like this Tech, tech Smart program uh, and you're capitalizing on it as a retailer, you're going to have a customer that has 21 potential pain points That's that they're right. going to have to put onto this new router and, and reconfigure, go back through their apps, I, it's going to be night, it, yeah. nightmarish for them at times. I'm not looking forward to it, which, <laughs> is, why, which is why I grabbed <laughs> a couple either. of the tech, apart, <laughs> tech smart pro brochures okay, so here. I get through your coverage <laughs> yeah. so that I could start handing yeah. them out to family and friends that uh, I have here's, traditionally been the support for. Here's the guys that call. That's right, exactly. <laughs> I might change my number. <laughs> but you're right, though. You think yeah. about that. 21 devices all having to it's reconnect. And, and, you know, in that tiny home um, was the experience that mm -hmm. we kind of figured out that this is really – a challenge. If we hadn't built that from the the ground up, or from this case, the mm -hmm. wheels up, yeah. and um, um, and went through the pains of setting all those up, oh. um, we 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 may have overlooked that. We may have overlooked the importance of that uh, function, and then and our members who came through the home. Yeah. talked about it over and over again about how delivery and install and setup were distinct functions in the in making sure that these products were operating and it was holding back these connected devices from being successful because of how hard it was so yeah. um, I'm hoping yeah. and, and actually I know that this relationship with TechSmart is going to be a fantastic um, uh, opportunity for our members it's going to be a good relationship to introduce to our consumers and uh, it's going to be a, a very good help and I'm just glad and, and very happy and proud that we're we're helping provide a good solution uh, to something ahead of time as opposed to reacting on the backside what's this uh, transition to 5g A absolutely and you know we can't go too long without talking about the tiny home but I'm gonna use it I promise I'm only gonna use it as yeah. a segue in transition yeah that's right <laughs> uh, you know we when we were at at New Orleans at the last show and talking about you know kind of the reasoning behind it it, it was as you've you've mentioned the providing the the experience so you know a way to a show to showcase how these technologies come together and um, obviously a, a, a piece that has traveled and will continue to travel for Nationwide and um, bring foot traffic and attention to, to member stores across the country. Um, but not every store can have a tiny home, That's right? right? So, uh, you know, we would love to have every every store, yeah. every member, you know, be able to have a tiny home at, at their location, but just not feasible, not possible. So, I, I know something else you've been working on is getting that experience down to a, a reasonable and um, easily integrated retail experience for members. So right. tell us a little bit about that and what, what that process has been like. Yeah, we um, you know we immediately set out after, to your point, to try to create a, uh, uh, an executable model for retail because that, to your point, that yeah. tiny home, you can't roll that into a retail location. You can put it in the parking lot, right. uh, and but you um, there are definitely limitations. It was designed to learn, inspire, and create uh, as a great uh, event-based uh, um, uh, representation mm -hmm. of the category, and, and it's done very, very good for that. But we um, immediately after that went to building a, um, a retail uh, display, utilizing uh, lay, uh, tools and resources that are similar to what you would see in a current retail situation. Mm -hmm. So standard um, uh, shelving and yep. Uh, and started slat walls and uh, things that you would typically see in uh, many retail, but then re uh, refacing it, refreshing it, adding in technology to help as, as a guided sales and a guided training mod, uh, uh, scenario and a, a kiosk uh, that we can uh, kind of help guide and shape what the consumer experience is and within that environment. So we partnered with a, a great retail company, Gory, uh, which um, uh, helped us with the, uh, the, the and develop Developing the vision and developing the uh, the presentation, and um, the kiosk came out uh, looking fantastic. The integration was fantastic, and I think it opens up the door for members that have maybe not considered one category or the other. Either appliances have been more focused on appliances or more focused on CE, and it helps them uh, uh, embrace.
space, pulling all those products together and putting them into uh, you know one space. And it's only a 12 by 20 uh, space. Yeah, nothing and over overwhelming. That's really. right. That's it, right. It's crazy. So I mean, the tiny home itself is an, is, isn't an overwhelming presence because it at its heart it's tiny right yeah, so right. to be able to kind of take that same model that same concept and idea and put it in a retail store where it does have a, a, a very similar impact on a smaller scale is is cool to see and something i, I think you know I, I look forward to seeing how members can configure it in their stores and kind of customize it for themselves and make it work that's so, right that's right um, you know that's the whole point of this connected home space that's so, right what what other challenge you know we've, we've hit on a couple of the challenges that um and how nationwide is is addressing those challenges. What other hurdles do you think still exist, or do you have you pinpointed um, and and identified as hurdles for you know members and and retailers in the connected home space? Yeah, I think um, uh, awareness and education on how to support setup and service is one of the big challenges. And we touched a little bit about the kiosk and its role in helping that with the sales associates. Um, but on the the deliver and install perspect uh, 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 area. Um, there's still a, a, a challenge with how do you go about and executing uh, and setting up these connected home devices uh, and, then, and, then, and then accepting and taking responsibility for the entire home once you yeah. introduce them uh, into a customer's home. And I think we're going to have to work really hard on the training scenario with both the, not only the sales staff, so they confidently can present it and know that they're presenting it, but they also have the backing of a, a confident and trained installer and, and delivery driver and setup team team that can then make it a good uh, experience for the customer in their home so the sales associates happy with it and we've got a we're going to have to develop a lot of content with a lot of partnership with all of our supporters and um, I think you'll see a lot more a uh, lot more focus and a bigger push as the, the adoption starts to pick up within our membership I, I see your eyes training on me as you talk about creating content uh, yeah. I, I see what you did there yeah and, you know, <laughs> no, but I uh, love love this space and you know obviously anyway you know we can help as a, a content team that's yeah, something I can get behind I, you need me to you know, do a, a little on the road podcast show yeah, with right. the tiny yeah, home. We, uh, if I can work in me living in that thing somehow. Well, I think I'm coming for, to for a short period of time, it, it, just a weekend. Let me have it for a weekend. I think we'll be coming to a town near you very shortly. So uh, keep that in mind. It might be there. It might be there and might be staying overnight. <laughs> so, you can even charge me a hotel. Uh, there you me. go. <laughs> no. Free so, to stay, buddy. Free to stay anytime. Yes. You're welcome to my house anytime. <laughs> that alone is worth the jump to nation. I love it. I love it. No. But what um, it, what we've talked about a lot of the things that are, are going on at primetime and that have been introduced here and, um, you know, what, what you guys have coming down the pike. But what else excites you about, you know, the connected home space, maybe specifically the connected home division and nationwide? Um, you know, as you look forward to the rest of 2020. Well, I think we uh, we started off with it a little bit, but I, like I said before, we're on the eve of this m big transition in speeds and connectivity, and uh, with our partnership with AT and T and um, and some of the innovations that they've got in in delivering content, not only internet content but also uh, uh, programming, uh, is really exciting. And the, I think as we um, go through this transition to 5G, the opportunities that are building, and how do you maximize and op and create great customer experiences with the content that's being delivered yeah. is going to explode the ideas and, and, and create a, uh, a whole new uh, uh, range and a whole new wave of uh, retail innovation that we haven't even really considered yet. Um, um, there's uh, that partnership with AT&T is, is, is absolutely amazing because of the sharing, because of the, um, the like-minded and creating retail solutions. And they do a fantastic job with helping come with real executable retail solutions. And uh, quite frankly, they're leading a they're leading a new a new era of uh, retail presentation and innovation that we haven't uh, really seen uh, yeah. for a long time. And and I think uh, uh, that's what I'm really excited about because I think you're going to start to see these things blossom into some really fun, cool demonstrations, which in the end, I think will help create further differentiation for independent retailers right, uh, right. and continue to uh, create reasons to visit independent retailers in their local markets yep. uh, because you're going to see something, feel something as a consumer that's better, cooler, funner, and it's all uh, in intended to have a uh, face-to-face uh, uh, -face interaction. Yeah, and, and you know, I'm kind of thinking about just this space and the, the connected home has, in my mind, you know, there's there's lots of education and, and a lot of you know awareness that needs to happen still as you as you mentioned but in this channel and I, I think about I'm looking just across the, how this the show floor at this prime time and past prime times is laid out and 
you know, you think of Nationwide Marketing Group, and obviously there's the, the furniture, bedding, uh, appliance, and CE channels and, and markets, but Connected Home is this thing that it just feels like it could break down the walls that might exist between those categories That's because right. it is literally impacting furniture, it's impacting Everything. bedding, it's impacting connected, uh, you know, consumer electronics and yep. impacting appliances. And, That's right. Um, there's no better example than what's going on in that tiny home. Yeah, so, yeah, exactly um, right. You know, there's no reason that members can't, uh, you know, you might not have a single piece of electronic in your store, but it yeah. doesn't mean you shouldn't be thinking about the tiny home. Yeah, the, th the tiny home. Right, clear over my head. <laughs> I mean, clear over my head. I'm still on the tiny home. No, but you, it does that. It steals <laughs> right? the show. It's, it's, just, just, it's it, funny how it, it does it. It attaches <laughs> itself to your brain and you can't get it out. Uh, but no, that, that, you know, you can't not be thinking about the connected home. That's right, exactly. And it, it's and to your point, you know, at some point in the near future, just about every product we buy is going to be connected. And so by by doing this, we're putting this investment now. We're actually we're we're actually on the cusp of and we're on the front side of this development and the launch and the activity that's happening. And we're putting our members in a really good spot to be ready for these things, so we don't miss waves of retail opportunities right. like in the past with the computer business, maybe, yep. or maybe with the gaming business or some of the other uh, product categories, the innovation categories that um, members um, weren't we weren't quite prepared to help um, service to make Certainly. it a good experience yeah. and then a good uh, back end experience with the consumer. So not to mention that you know the 490 billion dollar yeah. number that we we continue to hear about That's so right. if you need if you need one more reason one reason at all yeah. that that number alone b a billion with a b yeah. so just think about that's that right. uh, that's exactly the right. opportunity that that's there for you as a retailer so that's right uh, mr Madel, i i yeah, always appreciate you yeah, stepping man. in and chatting so this was a, a yeah. good time as always and uh you know i'll let you get back out there on the show floor awesome, for buddy. a little hey, bit longer great great job <laughs> and have a good job on a great show too thank you thank you and no, i appreciate it appreciate all right buddy it. thanks And a, a huge thanks again to Derek for, for taking the time to come on the podcast, come on the Independent Thinking Podcast, chat with us about these new programs and and uh, partnerships that, that he's developed over the last couple of months and share them with us. I, I think, you know, his excitement is clear around these programs and, and you know, the opportunity that they'll uh, present for our members who get involved with them. And, um, you know, it, it's kind of infectious. So look forward to seeing where they go, uh, where Gory, where TechSmart USA uh, go with Nationwide and, and how our members benefit from them. So uh, as always, you know, appreciate you taking the time to listen to the podcast and we will catch you next time.